Hi, I'm Jim. This is Jim's Little Boat. And if you've been watching this channel at all, you know that we're really all about uh, getting beginners started sailing and particularly aimed at Catalina 22s and working on your own boat. So uh, back on December 1st, I got this email. And by the way, today is about June 16th, 2021. But back on December 1st of, 19, of 2020, I got this uh, text message, actually. Uh, Hello, Jim. We just purchased a 1973 C-22. For reference, we followed none of your rules. We don't know how to sail. So they bought a boat. They don't even know how to sail. And uh, she and I started corresponding, and I got another text from her on December 2nd. We found a diamond in the rough in a shed that's in good shape but really dirty. The keel looks okay, but we won't know until we take her off the trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking the unicorn of sailboats, the barn boat here. And she goes on, uh, this is, uh, we corresponded back and forth a little bit and on April 8th. She said, can I introduce you to the boat and to us on Saturday? The boat was $1,000. We didn't have a surveyor to provide us an assessment, laughing out loud. Could you come over and show us where to get started? How could I not? Can you tell me how you found this boat? I found the boat on Facebook Marketplace. It was a Saturday and we were COVID bored at home and it came up on Facebook Marketplace. And I asked my husband, hey, do you want to go buy a boat? We know nothing <laughs> about sailing. <laughs> how much did you pay for this boat, Amy? The boat was listed for $2,000 and we offered the gentleman $1,000 and he took it. I gotta tell you, you should be wearing a mask. You guys stole this boat. <laughs> this is the find of the century. Let's look at the boat. We just need to kind of start by looking at the trailer. This is without a doubt the nicest single axle trailer I've ever seen on one of these boats. Notice it's all galvanized. There's a little walkway so you can walk down the center line of the trailer and hardly get your feet wet while you're doing a launch. Check out the fenders with the steps. Look at those galvanized wheels, my God. With the boat off the trailer, you can see what a unique and interesting trailer this is. I love the centering piece. Of course, it's broken down there on the bottom right corner, but they'll probably fix that. It's just a little torn out piece of aluminum right there. So I'm sure Andy can fix that. He's quite handy with metal. Got this long centering board and it rests on those two rubber steps and you've got that uh, catwalk to walk the boat back into the water with a little luck you wouldn't even have to get your feet very wet and you can stay off a slippery ramp pretty cool trailer it is an older boat so it doesn't have a hatch somebody's retrofitted it with a fan uh, it's got the pulpit of course but no lifelines you get down here and look at the keel look at that the original keel hardly any damage at all and what luck Andy's got the ability to pop that keel out of there and fix it himself. Nice pair of winches and no aft rail. Very serviceable outboard mount. Needs a little help here. <laughs> well, as we said earlier, this is the find of finds of barn boat. This boat is so original, it's even got the original pump out the toilet model, which of course is illegal nowadays and also inconvenient, but what a find. So, it's a great boat and very clean. Nothing wrong with this boat anywhere. So Andy's got a whole machine shop and he can do anything he wants. And besides all that, he's got plenty of height and a lift. He can just pick up the boat. He won't have to do any of the messing around like I had to do. So that's the Weber's new boat. Uh, what a find. I offered him 2,500 on the spot for the trailer and they laughed. They left after this video and they went for a couple of weeks of camping out in the wilderness. They're quite the outdoorsy folks. Uh, they dive and they climb rocks and they climb mountains and they camp they in the wilderness. back in two weeks and they were going to go to sailing school and start working on the boat. So fixing up the boat will be chapter two. Thanks for watching.